yeah, if the year I spent driving a town car in Vegas taught me anything, it's that everybody's looking for an outlet. I guess that's what I was to people. An ear to talk to, somebody with a face but no name. I was nobody to them. That's why they talked to me like I was the only one who could understand. So, I listened and I learned a few things. Mostly that nobody's exactly who they say they are. Even if they believe they're brazenly themselves, everybody keeps secrets. And, well, I was the guy they told them to. By the time I met them, I thought I'd seen it all. These guys, they taught me more about myself than church or puberty ever did. Maybe, if I would've actually paid attention in church, to jacking off, I would've gotten it sooner. I shouldn't have gotten wrapped up in their shit. I should have kept my distance, protected the little hope of innocence that I still possessed, but there was so much about them that interested me. Most of the guys knew each other from high school, and since they were only a handful of years out, their relationship still remained strong, not battered by the toughness of time. Give me another one. You look like a fish. <laughs> Does that make you a pescatarian? Maybe. Oh, man. Joey and Angel. They had no business being together. It was a huge fuck you to the universe that two people so young and wild and beautiful could even make it work. But they were together. Everyone seemed happy about it. Especially them. They were kissed by the idealism of youth and by each other. Often. Are you two gonna lock yourselves in your room and bang all weekend like you did in Cabo, or are you actually into having some fun? Then, yeah, there was Julian. <laughs> he had a baby face and looked like he spent the majority of his days wasting away on a beach somewhere, but he was the mouth of the group. He oozed charisma. But it was obvious to me that he earned his place by manipulating people. He proved that the tongue was mightier than the sword, or well, any shadow of muscle tone. Are you two gonna lock yourselves in your room and bang all weekend like you did in Cabo, or are you actually into having some fun? It's Cabo. Cabo? It's Cabo. Cabo? Cabo. Cabo. Can you say Cabo right? Cabo? Cabo? Cabo. 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 It's Cabo. Cabo? Cabo. 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 That's what I just said. It's Cabo. And banging is fun. If you do it right. Doing it all right. Oh, yeah, I do. I mean, I get it, but you can actually leave the hotel sometimes. Maybe if you had somebody to fuck you at the hotel, you wouldn't want to leave all the time. Kyle was neither intimidated nor impressed by Julian, a temperament that screamed a history between them. Their present was too loud for me to have heard their past, but the tension was there. The battle of the blondes. Don't be jealous, Belle. It's not a good look for you. And that jacket is... <laughs> GQ thinks so. Yeah. You really should flip through sometime. See what's new and now? I'm new and I'm now, so blow me. <laughs> Been there, done that. Uh, uh, um, Julian. <laughs> uh, 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 Look at me, Julian. Uh, Guys, chill the fuck out. This weekend's gonna be amazing. Remember, positive vibes. <laughs> Always. Let's just get to the hotel, smoke and chill out. I'm down. If we tried to get as chill as you, we'd probably die. <laughs> Stop being such a pussy. He is a pussy. Tyler, he was gorgeous hard body and a soft smile. The quietest of the bunch, but that's why I was immediately drawn to him. His parents deserved a thank you note. I mean, not just for his politeness, but for his face. The world needed more faces like his. There's our guy. Hi. 
Hi. Please tell me that you don't normally do that. What? I put fucking in your bag? Yeah. No. I do it in my fake ones, but not your real one. So what are we doing tonight? Mm, I have my own thing going on tonight. Oh yeah? Or are you gonna share with the class? Oh my god, weren't you giving a shit about ditching you guys in Cabo? Now you're gonna ditch us. I gotta get this figured out so I can let loose tomorrow night. Officially, we're done asking him questions. When people are that shady, you don't want to know what they're up to. It can implicate you in shit. <laughs> oh yeah? Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Like I said, don't ask. I have more important question anyways. That driver though. Is that a question? I mean, he's hot, right? Ew, Tyler. We don't fuck the help. Don't even look him in the eye. They hate that. He's hot, go for it. Mm, maybe we should just do our own thing tonight then. Whatever. Cheers, guys. Woo! So are we waiting for anybody else? No, I think we're all gonna do our own thing tonight. Sounds good. Where are we headed? Henderson, 9424 East Jackrabbit Lane. You got it. I was told they need various pickups and drop-offs throughout the night. I don't know, I figured they'd be clubbing or something, but no, that wasn't the case. It was strange that he wanted to go off the strip. I was kind of curious why, but I'm not paid to cry. Luckily for me, he answered the questions I didn't have to ask. So there's a guy out there I've been talking to him online for a while now, but we haven't actually met in person. Oh yeah? Yeah, I'm excited, but I'm kind of nervous at the same time. That makes sense. I mean, we've been like texting a lot, sending nudes, FaceTime sex, stuff like that. He's so fucking hot, and he's into some weird shit. Just what if it's weird in the moment? Are you worried you're like in over your head or something? No, it's not that. It's just, like, it's a lot easier to say stuff over text than it is in person. His and vagueness had me wondering what the hell this guy's into. After all this time. My mind was on a one-way trip to a pretty disturbing place when Julian let me in on this surprisingly vanilla kink. It's not that big of a deal. I guess a lot of guys are into the whole daddy thing. You know, being called daddy while they're fucking you. I guess it's kind of a common thing now, right? Daddy? Daddy. I mean, he's not old. He's more of like a teen dad that wants to be a daddy. I guess some daddies are young. I mean, I don't really think it's an age thing anymore. It's like a, a presence thing. You mean like an authority thing? Uh, maybe. Maybe I could be into it then. Him taking the lead? We're into it over text, so... Maybe we could be into it in person. I'm sure it'll be all right. And if you want to get out of there, you know who to call. Thanks. You're here. I'm here. 